If I can borrow one of the hats and also throw it in the air, that would be so cool because when I graduated, it was during COVID, so I got only online graduation. So if you guys allow me to do that with you, yeah, it's fine? Okay, thank you. Whew. Okay, Iga. Your tassel should be on your right, Iga. On your right, that's it. Class of 2023, stand up, please. One, two, three. On. Now, on the count of three, we will throw the hats. One, two, three. Congratulations. Anything you didn't like about the way you played today because that was pretty flawless well for sure I didn't like the fact that you know I was kind of winning with my best friend you know uh, but I knew that I have to be really focused and like not let myself think about that because it was literally like playing you know against a sister because we know each other for so long um, I don't have many friends but she's my best friend so um, <laughs> So yeah, that was the toughest part for sure. I would like to know uh, what is the best and the worst uh, in a tennis player life. Oh. You just want one thing? Well, the worst I would say jet lags. Um, and the best, like, money and traveling. <laughs> well, that's kind of obvious. No? So. <laughs> Your people and Schiffrin wrote the thing for you. How was that for you? Something you're very proud of? Yes, of course. Uh, well, obviously. And Mikaela writing it, um, it was e extremely special for me. Um, I had goosebumps when I read it. So um, I'm pretty happy that, you know, overall the work that I do on court and off court and, and the work of my team has been acknowledged and uh, appreciated. And, um, you know, when I was younger, I wouldn't even dream to be in that place. So, um so it's pretty amazing for me, and I'm just trying to kind of enjoy it and be proud of it, and also, you know, use my influence the right. Just going back on what you were just saying, did you say you you were making Lego kits? Lego did you, sets, yeah. Did you, did you say you were doing Lego? Yeah. Oh, so when you when you make up these pieces, what do you do? Just leave them where at the tournament or no, I, I actually or? travel with them and they break during the uh, flight usually so I have to do them again at home <laughs> that's the process I have a message for you okay thank you for coming to Japan say that means I love you all. First of all, they say for coming to Japan, okay? Thank you so much. Romantic line in French. I don't really know much French, but I think je t'aime means I love you. Je t'aime. Je t'aime. I only know je t'aime. Je t'aime. I can't really answer that. Um, I can talk about croissants and all that stuff, but... <laughs> uh, 
the last one, you get a day off and you finish pretty early today. What does a day off at a Grand Slam look like for Iga Sviante? Well, in Melbourne, usually it's sunny, except today and yesterday. So um, I need to change my plans. Yesterday, I actually went for a walk at 7, and then it started raining, and I was just hiding under the tree and waiting for like 30 minutes. So, um, so if there's anybody who's going to see me tonight walking in the rain, please save me, give me an umbrella or something. Yesterday mentioned that you would like to show people some good tennis with consistency. And today, obviously, you demonstrated this part on court, didn't you? Yes, for sure. You know, I'm, I'm really happy with my performance. Um, you know, it feels really like I can play freely again, so I'm really happy, you know. It's been a while since I felt that way, so, um, so yeah, I'll remember for the rest of my career that um, even though, you know, tougher times may come uh, in your mind, you can always over overcome that and with hard work you can, you know, achieve it. Well, actually, it's good that you ask because um, when me and my dad were in Cancun, uh, she's been here alone with um, without us. I mean, not alone because somebody had to feed her and everything, but without us, basically, and um, she felt like overwhelmed and she didn't, she was hiding every day, um, like in the towels, in like weird drawers because she wanted to be alone and she was kind of sad that we're not around her and she didn't eat a lot. So, uh, we were pretty concerned, but then she kind of got used to it after like two weeks and now she's actually back to normal and she's happy, I guess. Wait, yeah, she's smiling. It can't be as simple as the color of your dress. You changed your wardrobe after the first set and only lost a couple of games. What was really the key to that change? To change my, the key to change my outfit or? <laughs> I mean, it, honestly, it's because of my coach. Uh, he told me a couple of months ago that uh, after you know, losing the set, it might be a good idea to like change your outfit so you can kind of reset and go on the second set in a different vibe. I thought this is... But um, I tried this time and it worked, so thank you, coach. <laughs> Again, thank you guys for coming and cheering for us. You really uh, made it special. Thank you for all these Polish flags and Polish people that are coming, you know, in every tournament, but also overall from, from many countries every year and year. I feel like I have more and more support and it's, it really keeps me pushing for more, you know, so thank you guys. I really appreciate that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Why do I always get scared of confetti? They, they tell me, but still, like... ...will be missing in your fridge at home or in the hotel. Butter. Oh, in the hotel. Oh, wow, butter is not a good answer. <laughs> um, well, water, obviously, but at home, yeah, butter because I like butter. Okay, is that your kryptonite, is that? No, I just, I don't know. It's just, I use it to fry, I use it on sandwiches, so it's really needed. Great stuff. Okay, you mentioned the changes that were made at this tournament, and some of them we can see, but I imagine there might be some things that we can't see. I was just wondering, what are the changes? Well, I came here like, 13 minutes ago, <laughs> so, well, I would get lost if I would be alone, for sure, but um, there's more space, I think, next to the, the dining area is moved, and there's more space, there's second gym, which is great, there's this nice um, bridge in between the stadium and the dining area, which is great, um, and I don't know, we'll see, <laughs> if you see me lost, like Katie Perry last week, then please save me. Yeah. Hi, I'm Inga Shontek, I'm the defending champion at Indian Walls and you're watching tennis at KSQ. <laughs> <laughs>